Hello and welcome to this lesson where you will be learning how to calculate the area of triangles. By the end of this lesson you will be able to answer exam questions like this, so stay tuned. So let's start off by learning what the formula for area of a triangle is. Now this is a, our basic triangle here that I want you to follow. Uh, this is called the base and we have the height here. Now this is very, very important, so please make a note of this. The base and the height have to have a right angle in between. So this is not the height of this triangle. So for example here, onto this question, you can see that this is eight centimeters, but this eight centimeters is not the height of this triangle. The height of this triangle is this 12 centimeters, which makes a 90 degree, a right angle with the base. This is very, very important. The, the eight centimeters here and the 15 centimeters, which is the base here, they don't have a right angle between them. Okay, so make a note of that. And the area of a triangle is base times the height divided by two, which can also be written half base times height in a side a bracket. So get this down, make a note of this, um, and then we'll answer our three questions. And then I have a couple more that will um, take this to a sort of set one, set two standard. Okay, so our first triangle here, um, we've got the base which is seven and we know that this is the height because there's a right angle there. So we can just apply our rule, which is for area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Um, so we have base of seven times four divided by two. Seven times four is 28. 28 divided by two is 14. And the units are 14 and it's in centimeters. So centimeters squared. So 14 centimeters squared is our answer. This one here, so earlier on I did say to you that 12 centimeters is the height of this triangle and not eight centimeters. So base is 15 times uh, the height, which is 12, and then we have to divide that by two. So 15 times 12, you could probably use your calculator to do this. So um, you can do that, go right ahead. Um, that's 180 and 180 divided by two, uh, which is 90 and the units are centimeters squared once again. So onto this final one here. Now you'll notice uh, that the height of this uh, triangle is given outside of the shape. So uh, it's still the height because it makes a 90 degree with the base. Okay, so the base is two centimeters and the height is 3.2, not 5.6, not this. This is not the height, this is, okay? So two times 3.2 and then divide that by two. So 2 times 3.2, you can use a calculator, but you should be able to do this in your head as well. So 2 times 3.2 is 6.4, and 6.4 divided by 2 is 3.2. What we could have also done is cancelled these twos down, and that would have just been um, left with 3.2. So 3.2 meters squared is our answer for the area of this triangle. Before we go over to our last question, I've got two questions here which I want you to look at. Uh, make a drawing of these, um, give it a try yourselves, and press play again when you are ready. So we are given the area of both triangles this time, and we are told to find the missing lengths. So what do we have for the first one? We have the base, which is unknown, and we have the height, which is five. So let's set this up now. We know that the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Um, this time we know the area is 20, so we can write A, as 20. Uh, we, know, we don't know the base, so we can write B still, and we know the height is 5, so we can have B times 5 over 2. Now all we will do is work backwards, so we'll um, solve this so by multiplying by 2 over here, so that gives us 40 is equal to B times 5, and B can be obtained by doing 40 divided by 5, which is the opposite of multiplying, so that will give us B as 8 centimeters. Uh, the base is eight centimeters, so over here this length here is eight centimeters. Now for this one we do exactly the same, except this time we have a different side or length that is missing, which is the height in this case. So let's set up our equation. A is equal to base times height divided by two. This is the area of a triangle, remember? And we are given the area as 36, so 36 is equal to base, which with this time we know is 10, times the height, we can write h over two. So now we multiply the two over here, that gives us 72 is equal to 10 times h. And now we're gonna divide both sides by 10. So h will be equal to 7.2. And it's in meters, so 
height is 7.2. So on to our final question, which is probably looking at uh, particularly the higher set students. But of course, the middle set students are more than welcome to try this. So what do we have on the board over here? We have a triangle and a rectangle, and we are told that both of these shapes have the same area. Calculate H. So let's begin. So we know that the formula for calculating the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. And we know that the formula for calculating the area of a rectangle is uh, base or width times length, okay? So now let's apply uh, this formula to this triangle here. So the base here is 20, 20 times by h divided by 2. And because these two are equal to each other, we can write equal as well for what we're about to do over here. So 12.5 times by 7.5 will give us the area of that rectangle. And if we get our calculators, and we can calculate this, and this gives us 93.75, and the units is centimeter squared. And over here we have, what we can do, we can simplify this, uh, so we can cancel this, so we get 10h is equal to that, and therefore h would be equal to, we divide both sides by 10, so we divide this by 10, and that would be 9.375 centimeters. Now, because it's h is a height, the height of this is going to be just centimeters, okay? So 9.375 centimeters is the height of this. Now this question may have looked very difficult at the beginning, but you could see that it was actually very, very straightforward. As long as you remembered your formulas and you know that you needed to equate them. Hope you enjoyed this lesson and that you are able to now calculate and apply the area of a triangle to exam style questions. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and keep sharing with your friends and your family. See you in the next video.